Oh man, we are non-stop traveling right now. What is going on guys? We are coming at you from sunny Florida and Will's here. I'm here. You're finally not sick. Yep. Was it the Bogue? No, it wasn't the Bogue. I don't, was it the Taco Bell? I think it was the Taco Bell. How did, uh, honest, how did you feel on Friday? Cause I, cause he, he had like a stomach gig on Thursday. I'm like, dude, you just ate Taco Bell at midnight. Let's just, just fight through it, man. Like, Be that yeah, guy. I woke up and I was just puking my brains out and I was like, dude, fuck, I feel like right now. And then I was thinking like what Hyperfest is and it's we're Party. drinking and partying. And it was just like, dude, I don't feel like, I feel like and I knew I probably wouldn't have, like, I wouldn't be in the drinking mood. And I wanted to have fun. Be honest, though. Friday, Friday how'd you feel? I I woke up not feeling too great, but around, like, 1 o'clock, I was like, God I'm a what an a-hole this guy is. But Speaking of Hyperfest, if you guys missed that video, definitely go click up in the corner. I kind of messed up, and I posted it at midnight, so I feel like a lot of people missed it. And it was a really good video. I a lot saw clips of it, and, like... It just looked so wild. Dude, it was a lot of fun. So if you guys want to watch that video, my driving is really progressing. Go click up in the corner, watch it. And we actually have an exclusive Patreon video because as Will said, it kind of gets a little gnarly. We kind of went a bit hard on the partying. So we have two exclusive videos coming out Patreon right now. They're live as this video is live. Um, we have a trailer for you right here. Don't film. I don't even know what's gonna make it onto YouTube. It's getting too gnarly over here, bro. As you can see, it was freaking crazy. So if you guys want to join the Patreon, when we do things and we go out, I'm really going to start to try to film like the party side and behind the scenes, behind the scenes exactly. So if you guys want to be a part of that, you can go ahead and go join that. If not, all good too. And I'm closing the website in two days. So if you want to get your junk banners, you want to get anything, use code RODNOCK10, save yourself 10% off and enjoy this video because GC8, she's alive again. Starting the day off in sunny Florida. We're here to build the GC8. Welcome back to the channel. I just got in my new rental. Fucking free, dude. M3, dude? V8 or what? Let's get it. You know the track, right? Yeah, I know the track. <laughs> are you, why are you calling it a track? It's the road, bro. <laughs> yeah. How do I put this thing in the sport? She fast or what? She's all right. She's, she's not the fastest girl, but you know, she does the trick. She gets down. Can I just punch her? We're good too. This thing is loud as f dude. Think the camera's gonna pick this up? Oh yeah. <laughs> I think you you made it quieter now. No, it's unless you unless you know how to drive it to make it really loud. Yeah. No, I mean bro, when you reach that like 6,000, 6,500 RPM. Bro, that's when it, like, it hits rev limiter quick. I wasn't expecting that. Because yeah. on the M2, I kind of ride it out a little bit, but like it hit limiter quick. I feel like the M2 and the V8 is like way, way, way different. Way different. What is this, an 09? 10? 08? Oh, oh, that was even my first. It just 60,000 miles, bro. Dude. Yeah. Can you believe the M2 already has 20? No, I actually cannot believe it. I'm that. actually kind of pissed. I'm training to get in, to be honest. Yeah, honestly, I would just hit this. What? No, I ain't gonna hit this, bro. <laughs> Why? Sick, I, I ain't part. Oh! Of your, I ain't part of your uh, no heads. Whoa. Team no heads. Is that what you guys call yourselves, Team no heads? <laughs> no, I don't even drive in this well, thing. With a nice Rolex going like this. <laughs> Wait, hold on. How do you do it? You shift like this. <laughs> How do you do it? You go like that, or Use your other hand. You shift oh, like, like this. <laughs> yeah, you shift like this, right? That's how you guys be doing this. Oh, That's man. scary, dude. This is not a way to do this, bro. <laughs> I see it on Bob's all the time. He's yeah. driving like this, weaving in and out. I'm like, yeah. you f***ing asshole. I don't know how you, and he's like drifting like this, shifting up. I'm like, what is he doing? I'm scared to drive like that. And 
all seriousness though, it is cool. Fun car. But we're gonna get some Bolle and we're gonna go right into the GCA. Apparently Jack fixed the GCA. I guess all it needed was a good coolant flush and it needed to be um, burped out. So he says it's fixed. So I guess it's fixed, but we'll explain more when we get there. <sighs> My favorite place in Florida, HP Logic. I'm so excited to see the GC8. The one and only Jack Cecil. Hey, actually there's another one, it's my dad. Uh, wait, oh, your dad's named Jack Cecil yeah. too? Yeah, so you're, my, I'm the third, my grandfather. Oh, I was gonna call you the second, so you're Jack Cecil the third. Right. Dang. Yeah, RIP my grandpa, but my dad's still kicking, so. Hell yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess you learn something new every day. I didn't know there was three Jack Cecils. <laughs> That's pretty cool. But so, um, last time we, um, spoke about the GC8. The thing was overheating. It wasn't working, so I didn't really have enough time to work on it. I had to go right back home, and I got it towed here. Apparently, it was an easy fix. Dude, come I, on. You okay? So, so Chris tells me it's overheating. I can't drive it. It, it. it was terrible. We were like sad. You were crying, I think. No, I wasn't crying. He's messing. I was not know. crying. I don't know. I was almost crying. I was like, oh man. So anyway. He's like, I can't drive it, it's overheating. So he sends it down here, guy drops it off, I get in it, yeah, it was overheating. Yeah. But then I, was, I started going through the normal checks, see if it's leaking. I saw puddles of stuff everywhere, as you can yeah. see. But then you told me, oh, I, I spilled stuff while I was Yeah, because I tried to burp it, but I didn't have a funnel. Right, so we have a cool funnel. One of these bad boys. Dude, those are the best. I have one of those best. at the shop. So They're put, awesome. I put this thing on. I think this, this thing's been on thousands of cars. I bet. Yeah, it looks pretty old. So and she's still kicking. Still going. <laughs> so I put it on there, burped the cooling system. It took like a gallon and a half of cooling. Really? Yeah. That's so crazy. It was insane. I mean, given I didn't have a funnel, but I sat there and I kept overfilling yeah. it and stuff. Well, it's weird with these because you had the, the 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 air gets trapped in so many different little nooks. It's and so crannies. it's like the three seventy Z. Dude, it took me over an hour to bleed my three seventy Z properly. Yeah, it's, it's, it's similar. Insane. RBs are also kind of hard. Yeah. But either way, get yourself one of these if you're bleeding your cooling yeah, system. No, it makes life a definitely. lot Because you get it real hot, cycle it a couple times. Turn it off, turn it back on, that air finds its way out, and this thing just keeps filling it up. So yeah, like a gallon and a half of coolant get, went into it and no more overheat. Dang, dude, I mean, that's great news. Cause like, when it came here, we were talking like, hey, it could be a head gas, it could be this, it could be that. But you didn't know at the time, this has a fully built engine. I didn't know. And I sent you the receipts, like, well, it looks pretty legit, right? I mean, the, re the, the list looks legit. If you pop the hood, it doesn't. Yeah, no, it, it looks like a, a scrungy it mess. It does. It's scr it's scrungy. I don't know. I made that up. I like it though. Yeah, it makes scrungy. sense. And I understand it. <laughs> yeah, there you it's go. definitely scrungy. So, <laughs> so the scrunginess though is hiding a lot of good parts. Which is why we're gonna be here upgrading it. That's right. Because it does. I mean, so these stock can't hold much power, right? Uh, I mean, stock they probably do like. 300 horsepower. Okay. Realistically. Yeah. What do you think these like make before any tune? 240 like, like completely stock? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like 215. Oh, wow. 215. So not great. Yeah. No. They're, yeah. they're not they're not super. I mean, you got to remember back then, you know, all these cars were supposedly making 270 horsepower. Like, yeah, it was at, like the, at the flywheel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So at, at an all-wheel drive car at the wheels was barely making 220 for sure. You know? So same thing with those cars. Yeah, yep. Oh, the Skylines, Ooh, I forget. Dude, honestly, stock GTRs, they're kind of slow. They're really slow. They're really slow. Like, like today's standards? Yeah. Really, like oh, a, no, like for sure. A Camry's faster. Yeah, <laughs> like you get in a GTR, you're like, oh man, a GTR, like this is going to feel sick. Yeah. It's pretty freaking slow. Yep. I think they ran like, I, I, who was it? Was it uh, Hoonigan that did a, um, uh, this first that? Uh, yeah, 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 I GTR think so. It was a GTR versus, uh, I forget what car it was. I, I, I didn't say, watch that, but. I want to say it was either a Camry or a Corolla or like one of those. It was like a. And it was close? Yeah. Or the Camry like won? No, I, it may have. Yeah. I don't even <laughs> which remember. Is, yeah, which is crazy. Yeah. But I mean, old technology versus new technology, think, you know? I think it was Hertz car. Like, okay. I, I want to say, I yeah. don't know, I could be wrong, but. Either way, it was one of those. It was Regardless, a stock, it was a GTR versus stockish right, new car. Right, right. Yeah. Or Maxima, I think it was a Maxima. Oh, those are kind of quick though. The Maximas are, I mean, still, like, if I had G a, GTR Maxima, you would you would say GTR all day. Come on, if yeah. I had a G, if I, I have a GTR, if I, my GTR wasn't as fast as a freaking Maxima, I don't care how much work's done to that Maxima. You're pissed. I'm pissed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really pissed. Yeah, for so sure. So you gotta fix that. Yeah. Either way, 
these cars they didn't make that much power yeah and, and either way we're gonna upgrade it anyways we are. you got a box of goodies don't you we do but the ups is being weird i had to change the address dude they charged me an extra 300 bucks for custom fees well yeah because you shipped all the parts from out yeah of but country. i already paid Which is so now i gotta pay again i paid like 900 dollars at this point to get these parts here it's thing is not cheap and dude my coilovers once again if you guys that watch the movie and everything, I've been through two sets of BC coilovers. One, I tried to bring with me on the airplane because I couldn't ship them because they're pressurized, so I tried to bring them anyways, and they stole them. They took them, and I never got them back. And then BC Racing UK gave me some coilovers, and by the time that I got them in my hand, I was literally flying out that day. So I couldn't put them on, and then this went to go on the boat, and then they told me you couldn't have anything in the car, so we had to leave the coilovers again. It's so so messed up yep and then gas is like i'm gonna try to ship these we paid for shipping and everything he just got them back today you how do you ship coilovers overseas how do you do it on a boat i mean honestly like when i get hks stuff i i actually pay for special handling just to get them air shipped yeah it's it's a lot more money but so, how come you can get those air shipped and you just can't get it's on a cargo plane Okay. You know, so it's like, different. Yeah, like if you're if you're if you're flying commercial and you have like coilovers in your suitcase, mm -hmm. it's different than a cargo purpose plane that's gonna you know ship all these goods. Yeah. Because they take a risk. They have a completely different risk management system. Yeah, you for know, sure. Like, yeah, because there's no passengers and right. stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I get that. And they have they have certifications for hazardous materials and yeah. all kinds of stuff. Like Long that. story short, I still don't want my freaking coilovers, but we got so many goodies that you guys are gonna find out probably next video because we don't have them yet. But we got a haul tech. We got uh, we got a bunch say, of stuff. We got a good. That's a good goodie. We got a bunch of goodies. Haul tech is like a one. I yeah. cannot wait to get that thing on here and just start tuning what's already there. Yeah. No. I I'm I'm excited to get a baseline. I'm excited to uh, like see what uh, I'm excited to see where we can get. I uh, would like to see 400. I think it's possible. 400, dude. 400 in this little thing. That's a sick number. That's a big number. I feel like all my cars are four or five hundred horsepower though. Like every is time. Is that a bad thing? I guess it's not. We, we have to do something crazy, though. Sooner or later, we got to get into those eights, nines, you know? I've never oh, you done want, it. Oh, you want to push for that four-digit area? Dude, if I... Imagine me, little ruddy, thousand horsepower, whatever. You're not that little. No. Come on, dude. I, mean, not, I went to the gym this morning, bro. I don't mean bro. like that. I just no. mean like you're not like a <laughs> ten-year-old. That was a fat joke. No. That was. I don't have fat jokes. Well, you just made one towards me. It wasn't a joke. Oh, so now he's just calling me back. <laughs> this guy, but um, we're just gonna go ahead, pull this thing out. I wanna drive it. I don't wanna say I don't believe you, but I almost think it's too good to be true, to be honest. So I need to see for myself. If I had a nickel for every time someone said that to me. <laughs> I'm just saying, dude, it's too good to be true. There's no way that it just needs to be bled. There's no let's way. See. Let's see. Yeah, let's freaking see. Let's do it. Jack says he has something for me. Hey, buddy. You got, I think I know what it is, and I'm really excited for this. Look here, look here. It's HP Lock. Yes, yeah. dude, you're finally doing it. Boom. Damn. Dang, I'm taking the glasses off for that. That's sick, dude. The I dusty love t that. Not bad, huh? Hell yeah, that's for me? Yeah. Thank this is you. you. This is fucking awesome. You know what's awesome about this, too? Huh. I didn't really bring any clothes. I didn't really pack. <laughs> I'm go. wearing a fucking Walmart tee right now. I went to Walmart last night, bought a bunch of stupid ass tees. So uh, thank you for this. I got you. Where can they find that? On the website, horsepowerlogic.com. You got dude, it. That's so sick. I only made 50. So. Sell them out. Sell Everyone, go get this. Support Jack. Support what he's doing. It's a cool. Sh it's a cool shirt. And I promise you, I'm a Florida boy. Yeah. You wear this down here in Florida, you are not gonna get hot in it. Well, I'm about to test it out right now. I'm go putting for it on. It. What'd you say back in the 90s? Four doors for more whores. All the whores. <laughs> well, we got do you, four doors for sure. We got four doors for all these men. I am, yeah, I'm How not. do you start this fucking thing again? Dude. <laughs>
<laughs> oh my god, Jack. Up, I don't remember. I, dude, I could not figure out a pattern at all. What a fucking nightmare. I know. I stuck the key in that thing, and oh, yeah. sometimes oh, it worked. Oh, this thing? Yeah, and then like, but it didn't work all the time. It like beeps. I can't Sometimes. Alright, so I, it's in, right? No, I'm just gonna... <laughs> I, don't think it, oh. I don't think that worked. What? Why wouldn't it? I don't know, man. It's just. How does that make any sense? Let's be real. It does not make any sense. I have no idea, dude. So you're telling me this thing's mint. It's mint. I don't know, Jack. Like, listen, I trust you, but at the same time, it's like. It's mint. As simple as cool. It's just too Jack, good to be true. I mean, yeah, I she does I look. I wouldn't rage on it. Yeah, she but, does run a little rough, huh? Yeah, but it's a Subaru. I mean, you know. Well. And she needs a tune. Yeah. We'll, well get that. We'll we, get that taste we know her. a guy, right? I mean, you know a guy. That's for sure. You are the guy. <laughs> yeah, it's different. <laughs> so you wouldn't beat on this thing? I wouldn't beat on it, but I would definitely not hesitate. So no, get on her. Get on her. So no cyclones, huh? No, oh, no cyclones. Goodness. She needs a tune, for sure. She's, Let it warm up for a second. She's <laughs> sad, dude. Hey, give her some gas, bro. Dude, I can't give her gas, bro. <laughs> this thing's junk, huh? Uh, yeah. It really <laughs> reps the brand. I'm glad that we have a hall tech. Yeah. That's all I got to say about I'm that. sure this thing has all the boost leaks and all the yeah. good stuff, you it's, know? It's definitely not... It, it's not done. No. Okay? It's not done. Let's. No, literally, I put this engine in the UK... The next, I started it, drove it around the parking lot. I'm like, I need to go home. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't go home. I went to like Liverpool, then I went to Paris, like because me and Courtney like wanted to do some stuff. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. You know, it was a good time. Yeah. But we, but me and Gaz busted ass for like three days on this thing, freezing cold, and I just felt so bad for Courtney because she's like sitting there shivering the yeah. whole time, and I'm like, I got, I got to do something. How cold was it? Um, dude, like, like 10, freezing. Oh like my 10. god. Ooh. And like, oh. given like when me and Gaz were working, it wasn't that bad because oh, like God. we're working. Yeah. But she's just sitting there, like, or sitting in the hotel or, or something. So we went to Liverpool and then we flew to um, Paris. And then from Paris, we went to Amsterdam. From Amsterdam, we went back to the UK, back to Liverpool. It was, it was a good time. It was a great time. Amsterdam's great. You can get all the truffles. Uh, oh, I. I, I saw you in Amsterdam. I, I tried truffles in Amsterdam. <laughs> <laughs> and dude, I, like she's sleeping. I'm like looking up at my at the ceiling. Yeah. Dude, it looks like a bunch of ant colonies oh getting God. together. It was crazy. It was like a do it's like a life experience. It was legal though. It's not a drug if it's legal. <laughs> what? It's still a drug. It's still a drug. <laughs> but it's a legal drug. It, it's not an illegal drug in Amsterdam. Isn't that crazy? You yeah. can just take that and walk around. I uh, yeah. It's I like, wouldn't do that. No. No. Let's go to Amsterdam and we'll do truffles You're together, crazy, Jack. Come bro. on, dude. I think I'm going to do some crazy shit like that. Crazy? crazy. If, I go to, just... if, I, if I go to Amsterdam, you know what I want to do, actually? Huh. I want to go to Denmark. Okay. Okay? Don't they have the cleanest air or something? Oh, man. I don't know, but it's so nice because it's right on the coast. Like, it's like it's like on the water. It's like, yeah. a, like a sailor town, you know? That's sick. But here's the real reason. Because they have this area in Denmark called uh, Jutland that's like basically the country and they do tractor pulling. How are you getting your tractor there, Jack? i just get one while I'm there, man. Oh, you're gonna build one there? I might. It's gonna end up like this thing, oh, broken. Oh, yeah, but, oh, dude. I guess you're better than Come me. on, man. I guess you're better than yeah. me. Yeah, but anyway, I think it'd be really cool to go there. No, that'd I, be sick. Yeah. I, I heard like the air is like super clean there. Like you get out of the plane and like you can just breathe better. That's yeah, what Mike I told believe me to find. I believe he's got it. family there. I believe it. That's sick. It's like one of the happiest places to live. Happiest, huh? That's what like they people say. are just like walking around, like, "Hey, how you yeah, doing? They, that's it. How's your morning?" Well, they say probably don't say it in English. They probably say it in like Danish, but yeah, Danish, huh? Yeah, I never yeah, heard that language. language. Danish. It's pretty. Uh, Do you her, know how to say hello? Hergie Fergie. I think they just say hello. Oh, I think something like that. That's interesting. Yeah, it's in, it is. It's a. Dang, it's a, I want to hear really, Danish now. It's a really cool place. We got some. We got quite a few Danish. Viewers on the channel. Too. I feel like that, like how you just said that. That's like pilgrimy. Hello. Oh, yeah, they have a bunch of like pilgrims. Maybe. Like they have like the pilgrim hats and stuff. Maybe. I don't. I mean, I don't know about that. This but. thing needs power steering. Like Amish? Is it like an Amish? Nah, it's not. Like no, Amish. no Amish. Not, they got tractors though. That's Amish. Uh, You're a little, a little Amish bit. with yeah, all these tractors. A little bit. We're gonna have to show your tractors, dude. We, we are. We this are. dude's an upgraded Amish. These dudes dude, got turbo tractors. I got a turbo diesel tractor. 
Once it warms up, it's not bad. Was it was it overheating by now at the port? I don't know. Have you? Did you drive it longer than this? About an hour. You d you did not drive an hour? I, I well, I'm gonna rephrase that. I drove it around for about 15 minutes and I let it sit running for about an hour. Gotcha. Yeah. And then it was fine. It was fine. Yeah. Dang. We could try to do the same thing. Well, I'm gonna try to go to Fort Lauderdale tonight. You can do it. You think so? For sure. It's, you think it's gonna be fine? I mean, so if it's not fine, you're gonna come pick me up? Yes. Yeah, oh, <laughs> you already here, folks. He's gonna come grab me, he's confident, even with the shit tune. Even with the shit tune, just Dang. don't beat on it. No, like I, I won't said. beat on it, yeah. But you could drive it for sure. I mean, look, Sick. you're driving it now. We're almost halfway to Fort Lauderdale. I, uh, I wouldn't go that far, Chad. <laughs> We're about 50 minutes away. I mean, we've driven like 10 miles already going around the- 10? No, we have Chad, yeah, where the fuck like you getting this? Miles. Not even kilometers, bro. Jesus. <laughs> Not even kilometers. I feel like we've been driving for like- Oh, am I like fucking boring times. you? Jesus Christ, I need I to get know. the fuck out of here. I don't know if you're bored. Well, I thought we were fucking you. friends, but- How fast are you driving, man? Bro, you said don't beat on it! What like, the fuck? Yeah, 20, oh, 20 kilometers. Right, That's rubber, miles rubber, an hour. Rubber, rubber, rubber. He wants me to blow it up. Yo, I this will beat your V8. I want to it's going live. It actually feels pretty good. It's not bad. If this is 215, 400 is going to feel insane. It's going to be wild. Wow, dude, you know what? I'm getting uh, I'm getting the Civic vibes. The nitrous Civic vibes, that's what I'm getting. Right and we, we did that right here. And I'm liking it. We did that I'm right here. I'm liking the vibes, Remember dude. that? Remember when you hit that button? Oh my God, <laughs> dude! Exactly that. It was amazing, though, because that car was so slow. Dude, and it, dude, when you hit that button, it was... It was uh, not slow. Uh, like, it was fucking crazy. I remember, yep. Shit, man, I miss days like that. Yeah, yeah well, you know what? I'm glad that we can still relive we're, them, sort we're, of. We're bringing it back just with faster, cooler shit, That's right? the deal. That's what we're supposed this to do. This is awesome. Well, You're supposed to make progress. I, I think we're moving in the we're right direction. Progress. We, we haven't moved backwards. We have definitely been moving forward. We're always moving forward. TJ. I mean, you're also getting older, so you're always moving forward. Ooh, he has an IS, dude? Look at that guy. What? Yeah. You didn't know that? sick. Yeah. I may or may not have an IS. Only Patreon knows Oh, that. what? Ooh. What? Ooh. All right. Um. Yeah. That's okay, all. so far, surviving. That's all I need until How's I go the to temperature Florida, look? though. It's, right it's right a half. half. I mean, yeah, no, I mean, it's good. I'm happy with it. Cool. You happy? I'm pretty happy. Leave it all running for a little bit. Yeah, I guess I'll leave it running. Can you actually go outside real quick with that and see if this works? The intercooler sprayer, dude? Is That's there any, sick. Is there any water in it? Well, we're about to find out, dude. I don't know. <laughs> I, know yeah, I, I probably know less than you at this point, Jack. I haven't looked at <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's working. Yeah. yeah. I see like a mist. Oh, is it still going? Yeah, it's still going. Bro, it's stuck on. Hit the button again. Bro, it's stuck on. You wanted to see how it works. Oh, for real, like I, I'm not. <laughs> oh, I. No, it was just off, and you no, hit it, it again. Wasn't. I just heard Pop it. Pop the hood. No. This is your fault. Oh, it's off. Maybe it, like you hit it and it runs for a certain oh amount of God. time. It's on like a timer. Oh my God. Look at all this freaking water. Dude, that's oil smoke. Is this no, like, that's water. No, oh, that's... That's definitely... Oh. I smell oil, bro. This thing's Now it's all wet. Oh, you're cooking burning oil right there, buddy. Well, oh, it's no, that's a water. smelly sauce. I think it's fine, right? I think so. You got a fire extinguisher I can bring oh, with me? No, we can go to... AutoZone, they probably got them. Yeah, I guess I'll have to go buy one. <laughs> so I'm messing with Will right now. I told him that um, an Uber is coming to pick him up in a white Camry. And he's like all bummed. He's like, oh man, you couldn't pick me up. Like, because he's been stuck in an airport all day. His Literally, his flight got canceled five times because his plane kept breaking. So this has been like a 13-hour trip for him. Serves you right, Will, for calling out sick on the Hyperfest fucking instant karma right there but I'm really in the white Camry I had to rent it cuz uh, the Subaru um I decided to be a little responsible I need to get it like VIN checked and stuff and it just wasn't smart of me to drive it without doing that first like I want it to be legal in the US before doing all that stuff so um, I decided to just rent the Camry 200 bucks for the week dude kidding me no-brainer, absolute no-brainer, but let's get him. He's gonna be stoked. 
Alright, he said Terminal 3, I'm looking for him. I've been texting him the whole time, like, alright dude, Uber's almost there, I'm watching him. Hey! Someone call for an Uber? What yeah. the fuck, dude? <laughs> what up, dude? What up? Not a bad Uber right huh? <laughs> Whose car is this? I had to rent it, dude. Well, you, you actually rented this? <laughs> so this is what we're driving around in Florida. Yeah. Huh. Dude, it's actually not bad. The lane assist is fucking insane. You can actually drive all the way back to West Palm without oh, driving. And dude, just go like that. You don't have to do anything. Wait, it doesn't make you register the steering wheel every, I mean, I every, it, every 10 it, seconds? I did it for like 30 seconds. I don't think so. It just beeps crazy. Well, it'll stop. Route? It'll stop. Well, I guess it we'll pass that. Because, like, dude, with the Hondas, I just go with, like, my finger like this, and as long as it senses slight resistance, it'll go the dude, entire time. Dude, I know. Time. I think this one just goes. Huh. We're going to find out as soon as we get out of here. <laughs> How funny is it that I rolled up? Yeah, dude. What <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> I'm, like, texting you every 10 seconds. Like, I know. You're like, you the should court. be here. I'm like, dude, I'm running up and down this looking at every goddamn Camry, dude. <laughs> People got their windows up. I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna go to somewhere with their windows up. They're definitely not. And then I'm, I'm like, I see this white car in the distance. I'm like, all right, let me try this fucking thing. And I see windows down. I'm like, all right, all right, we got some good, good luck here. That's so funny. And I see your dumbass sitting behind the fucking wheel. Oh man. Dude, 200 bucks for the week. Wow. Not bad. And that's full coverage. Like this yeah, thing, dude, that I can accidentally turn this thing. fucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's sick, that was though. a fucking nightmare. Oh, Jesus. Look at that. We almost just totaled it. <laughs> All right. See ya. Bye. Holy crap, man. I never thought I'd see this day, me and you. Yep. Going to the gym together. Hell yeah. He's stuck now. You got no choice. It's fine. He wanted to go for fucking two hours this morning. I did, I but like, I slept no, in. That's overkill. If two I'm hours is normal. Gym, Me and Drake go for two hours. Yeah, but Drake goes to the gym. Yeah. I'm not trying to be dead. And then if you want to go wake up. No, you want to be dead. No. That's that's the goal. You no. wanna you wanna feel like you're dying. No. I that's don't, me. I love feeling like I can't lift my I gotta arms. just, I don't go to the gym. You see this, dude? I have to flex. I gotta ease in. Nine, dude, you got a fucking good bicep, bro. Yeah, just that side. How long is he the other side? We've already done this. No, that's coming looks, in. Honestly, it's coming that in. side almost looks bigger, I it's think. Coming Maybe in. because it's the other side and like you can see your little But like I think my forearms are really big compared to right here. You do a lot of jerking off. No, it's just no. <laughs> it's golf. Anyways, let's go. Okay, you excited? Um I forgot my headphones, but oh, that's yeah. fine. It's nice for you. Fashion, whatever it is. Alright, so only 40 minutes at the gym. How do you feel? Fucking dead. You're dead? Dude. Dead. I'm a, I'm a weak motherfucker. <laughs> you think you'd be able to lift your arms in the morning? No, dude. I'm gonna fucking feel it. I'm hoping I can at least open my arms, cause I know, like, dude, look at my muscle. It's spasming. <laughs> oh my god, you're shaking, dude. Dude, I haven't done that in a while. It's sick, though. You feel good. Yeah, no, I feel good. I just, I know I'm gonna need a couple Advil in the morning. And we're gonna, we're coming back tomorrow morning too. Yeah. We're here every day yeah. for Florida. This motherfucker's trying to push me. I'm like, dude, I'll come the, the every day of this week. I'm a pusher. But I push like, myself. That's why I like to pu If I push myself, I like yeah, to push Yeah, but you've other. been going to the gym, so you can push Yeah, but yourself. even in the beginning, I pushed. And, like, I was sore, but then you just keep pushing. No, dude. See, you already have muscle. I don't have muscle. Just flex. You have a bigger muscle than I do. No, I Just because you're skinnier. Yeah, but that's why... No. You have bigger muscle than me, so it's easier <laughs> for you to just push through that. Like me, when I'm struggling with 35 pounds, 40 pounds, <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? But to you, you could push through that. That's like me pushing through my 15. You, like you're 15. 15 pounds, 20 pounds. Oh! Like 15, oh. 20 pounds to me is like 40 pounds to you. Okay. I would say. <laughs> sure, I don't know. But we're going to get some breakfast and um, head to the shop. How was your first day in Florida, sir? Good. Yeah? Great. Yeah. You having fun? Yeah. Dude, we have 
So we're, we're here to build the GCA, of course, but me and Will almost kind of want to treat it like a little vacation. Like we want to go wakeboarding, we want to go paddle boarding, we're going to go fishing with Cam. Like there's a lot of stuff that we want to do. Up some drive shack. Yeah, well, you Will does. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to go to drive shack and I'm going to do it for you, not myself. I hate it, but I just kind of like hanging out with everyone and that's just an easy hangout spot. So I'm cool with it. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Today was kind of just getting here, um, driving around the GCA, making sure that it's good. Next video, we're going to be dynoing the car, upgrading the car, doing all of that stuff. So definitely stay tuned. I'm really excited. I think we can push it to 400 horsepower, but stay tuned and find out. Don't forget to join the Patreon if you guys want to see those exclusive videos. They were wild. And um, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. And see you in the next one. Peace.